Hey guys, it's Cowan Hill, and I'm bringing you a bit of Search and Destroy on Vacant um, on COD 4. And I'm using the MP5 with no attachments just because I like it that way. And uh, I just wanted to show this video because of um, when you spawn on the side I spawned on of uh, Vacant, and that was a horrible death. Um, this Lemon guy was pretty good, and the Exprezion guy was pretty good on the other, other team as well. Um, yeah, when you spawn on this side of Vacant, it is really hard to uh, to win. Um, so like the first round we get destroyed, we only take out one of their people, and uh, the second round we will see I do pretty well. So what I do is I throw this spawn nade, and I end up taking out their two best guys uh, with the spawn nade, which is pretty nice. You you go to the third uh, fence thing, and then throw it up directly in the middle of the window. Notice I see someone getting shot in that alley. I don't run through, and um, well that was a bit of a foul there. Ignore that. I don't run through because I know I'm just going to get a shot straight after. Uh, he had the vantage position, so I just wait around. And um, this guy, I know he's here, so I throw a stun and then I run all the way around because if I go through that doorway or out of the uh, the main door, a bomb, he's going to easily kill me. So all I do is slow him down so I know exactly where he is, so he can't do any sort of like running around tricking me and uh, run around somewhere he's not going to be expecting to take him out nice and easy. Uh, we win that round. And you notice I throw this nade again, so you can take a look at the placement. Um, I throw it again for one reason, really. Um, well, a lot of you might think that it's no point throwing it twice, because you'd have to be completely retarded to go the same way twice if you'd just been naded. Well, uh, there's a couple of things. Number one is people sometimes do go the same way twice, which is uh, obviously not, not the greatest thing to do, but people do it. Um, so you may catch them out the second time. And also, another thing is, like, just because two of them run that way last time, it doesn't mean that another one of their teammates isn't going to realise and then um, and then go through the same way, not knowing that his teammates have just died there. And you can see now we're not doing too well. Um, it's me and another guy. We was versus about five guys, four or five guys. Uh, I pick up a kill, he picks up a shotgun kill, I pick up another kill. I can hear the guys around me, know this guy's coming, easy kill see this guy on the radar and take him out lovely little round there I'm now seven for one not bad since the uh, the other team had the had the good spawn and they got some good players but now we're on the other side and we're two rounds up which is exactly where you want to be because this side is actually hard to lose believe it or not um, so first of all I try and get this nade in uh, to try and catch him coming to A and I did see him go through but I didn't manage to get the nade there I've never tried that nade and it looks like it could work if you throw it early enough, um, but I didn't manage to get it. Uh, I'm in a bit of a position here because I can't really go in, and I know there's a guy there on the left um, in the A, the A building with the open roof. So I'm just going to wait it out, and uh, I don't want to go in straight, straight there, and I can't really go up behind the barrels because obviously that means I'll be doing long range, and they've got um, M16, so I want close range. But I don't really want to risk it. And then I decide, you know what, I've got to do this. I know where he is. I need to get the kill. And uh, manage to get the kill on this guy. And then I'm just waiting for the second guy. Or the last guy. Pick up the bomb so I can plant it if I need to. And I think I decide to plant. Well, first of all, I try to fake plant just in case he's laying around near. And I do decide to plant. But unfortunately, as you will see, this guy um, has got this covered. Boom. There we go. I wasn't expecting that at all. I knew this guy was using C4, but I didn't realise that he uh, put it on the bomb, obviously. Otherwise, I'd have shot it first or something. I don't know how this guy clutches it. Look, he he didn't see the guy there. If you go back, you'll see he was in plain sight. He's obviously playing in standard definition. He comes over here. I'm thinking, oh, he's just going to get shot like from the um, from there. And then he, he fires some random shots. I'm thinking, oh, great. This guy hasn't even got uh, dead silence. I don't know if he's got level. And he just manages to pick up the kill, which is uh, pretty astounding, should I say. But um, yeah, we got one round to win now. And like I say, my score isn't amazing at the end of this, but uh, the other guys were pretty pretty good players, i got to say. And um, I didn't do too bad. And I thought the gameplay was pretty good. It's not so good on this side, because on this side, you don't want to be rushing in, because... This is the, the vantage side and you know, you've know you got the advantage and you don't want to waste it by rushing in and dying because then they have a chance of uh, winning like they did on the first and second round. They rushed and they died for it. 
I try and get this guy through the wall, but unfortunately I can't get the hit on him. So I can see there's one guy there who gets taken out um, as I start shooting at him. And there's another guy behind the barrel. Now I just try some pot shots because I know that it's going to be a difficult shot for him to shoot me. And uh, luckily teammates are trying to get in there as well. And I thought that Clutchy there had thrown the nade and uh, got the guy. But it turns out he didn't. So when I rushed forward I saw that you know, he was still there. But um, this is a little bit of a sticky situation for me. I wait for this guy, take him out. I know the other guy's by B. Um, I just risk it and move in. And uh, I miss the shot, so I'm going to run away. And instead of running all the way away, I uh, wait here because I can hear him. Wait for him to come round, and that's it. Easy kill. Right, hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. It was kind of like a walkthrough and what I did and the decisions I made because I don't post much search. And I think that's the best way to do search. Um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay, and I'll see you guys later.